This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Azincourt Energy, Mr. Alex Klenman. Alex, how are you today? I'm good, sir. Thank you for having me once again. Thanks for coming back on on short notice. The last time you and I spoke, we talked about a significant discovery. The discovery being an alteration zone at the East Preston Uranium Project. Now, it is just an alteration zone at this point, but the release today Mm -hmm. extends that alteration zone. And I wanted Mm -hmm. you on to explain why that is a significant development for the Preston Uranium Project, the East Preston Uranium Project. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's actually really, really good news, and it's extremely significant. And and it should be mentioned that um, these alteration zones typically act as halos around deposition, uh, mineralization, and in in you really need to find them to find you know big big deposits. So um, first step is you know find find the zone, determine the size of the zone, and and we've been doing that. So we found the first. Uh, release that we put out, you know, we estimated it at about 800 meters. Drilling in a southerly direction has continued to uh, run into this hematite, run into the the, the extreme alteration, and we're now at about uh, just over 1,200 meters uh, strike length, and that's that's a you know a very significant footprint uh, for what could be, in fact, a halo over something uh, you know uh, notable. When you say Potentially significant and and halo. Mm-hmm. What are the analogs mm-hmm. when it works out? And again, I want to stress and caution. Right, this is this is still mm-hmm. early. It's still just an alteration zone. But at the same mm-hmm. time, you're seeing all the right indicators. Right, if this was mm-hmm. if this was a gold deposit in Nevada, and you were seeing the arsenic and the mercury and the Pathfinder elements, um, mm-hmm. you, you would be excited that you're getting closer. Um, to a gold absolutely. discovery, right? And so this is no, the, absolutely. Can can you explain that for 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 everyone? Yeah, no, and and well said. I mean, that's a good analogy uh, talking about you know gold gold discovery in in, in a place uh, like like Nevada. But in 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 the Athabasca, typically, uh, I'll give you an example. Three major deposits: Key Lake, Millennium, and MacArthur River were all found by chasing alteration. That is. Uh, to drill in and around the alteration at, at, with different methods, um, you know, either underneath, cross-cutting, uh, down the heart of it, however you want to look at it. Um, but by chasing alteration led to all of those um, discoveries that I just mentioned, and those are all big, impactful discoveries. Now, that isn't to say we're going to duplicate that, but what we need to know, or what, what should be noted here, is if we ran into a big mineralized hole prior to finding the alteration, we'd probably be shocked and scratching our heads. Um, in, in, if we're to run into that hole tomorrow, um, we're not as shocked. We're not scratching our heads. We're celebratory, of course, but you know, the next step, the next step along this path, um, could very well be impactful discovery simply because you have to have this alteration. It is, it is how the deposition occurs. Um, you need it. Uh, it's, it's an indicator and, and we're getting a big zone. I mean, 1200 meters is nothing to sniff out. Agreed. Um, results. When do we when do we start peeking under the hood per se? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's all going to come down to the, uh, <laughs> the geochemistry and, and the analysis, right? So uh, we're we're optimistic that the first few holes will start to come back uh, in April, um, but cautionary tales always tell us the labs will be optimistic, uh, but the labs are going to be jammed, and we. We've uh, addressed this before. I mean, it's it's almost a record year. Certainly, the most capital in the last ten years has has recently flowed into the basin, and uh, that's going to mean that there's more drilling and that there's more core that has to be analyzed. And I guarantee you, the labs are going to be jammed. So um, we're hopeful that we'll begin to see some of the results in April, and it'll probably stretch into May and maybe even June. Hopefully not that long, but, you know, I mean, uh, it's taken us this long to get to where we're at, so we're okay. We're drilling in the K zone. We're drilling in the H zone. Both of these uh, zones have, have, you know, ideal environments. Um, we've run into 10 times rate background radioactivity, which is also a great sign. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're onto something here, and, and it's, um, it's why we've also, in that news release, 
uh, mentioned that we're going over budget. We're going to increase the budget. We're going to spend a little bit more money to get as much done as we can in this season. Well said. Looking forward to those results. Um, let, let's let's catch up again soon. And again, can't wait to see um, numbers and, and follow-up work, right? It, it should be noted, again, discoveries mm-hmm. don't typically happen, um, you know, with, with five holes or 10 holes. It usually takes... Uh, mm-hmm. quite a bit. And we know it's it's high risk, high reward, but the reward on this could be significant. So looking forward to that. Anything to add, Alex? Yeah, no, I, I understand the exploration and drilling is a high risk endeavor, but but by finding zones like this and chasing zones like this, um, the, the, the project becomes that much more de-risked. So we're excited. Indiana Jones would be proud. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Bye now.